Hi everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we are looking at the stand hub from Reloop. Now, laptop stands in general, not a particularly exciting category, although it is a very important one for a lot of DJs. But this stand, however, has a little something extra going on. Let's get to it. Let's get the stand part of the stand hub out of the way first. It's priced at around 125 euros or roughly $170 in the US. Unfortunately, with the current global supply chain issues, we're going to start seeing prices in different territories vary more and more, but I think it's pretty reasonable wherever you are. For the money, you get a nicely built stand. It's made of some kind of steel alloy with the various bits welded together. It weighs in at roughly 1.5 kilograms or 3 pounds and comes with a lightweight protective bag to carry it and the supplied cables in. Various different positions for mounting laptops or tablets can be achieved via the push-in spring-loaded buttons, including the standard C and Z shapes, one specifically for tablets, as well as a height-extended Z shape if you reposition the screw-in stoppers, which prevent your laptop sliding off. To that end, there are also included sticky foam pads for the tops of the arms, which will both protect the laptop and help keep it in place. At the sides are aluminium parts which screw into the stand and they have o-rings around them again for grip and protection. It's a two leg design so possibly less convenient than a single leg in some situations but they are both narrow and quite low profile so I didn't find that to be an issue. Stability was on point, certainly on a par with most other stands that I've used and I had no concerns about the push button adjustment method in use. We've seen that before and it's a reliable system. It does mean that you don't have quite the amount of finite adjustment found on some other stands but there should be enough positions here for most people. Overall, purely as a stand, it's completely solid. Nothing groundbreaking but does the job very well. So let's move on to the hub part of the stand hub as that's the area where this product really stands out from the crowd. As the name implies, built into one of the uprights is a USB hub, but it's not any old regular USB hub, this one supports USB-C power delivery. In case you aren't aware, all Mac laptops in recent years and many Windows machines too now have power supplies which can be connected via USB-C instead of MagSafe or regular DC barrel power adapters. Whilst these can sometimes look like regular phone or tablet adapters at first glance, they actually deliver a lot more power, up to almost 100 watts at 20.5 volts although around 60 watts is most common, which is enough to power and charge a laptop. I'll demonstrate how it works in a moment, but first I'll break down what you get. There's the USB-C input for power, which supports up to 60 watts pass-through. Then you have four regular USB-A ports for connecting your gear, mixers, controllers, whatever you need. And they are USB 3.0, so fast enough for snappy performance with external drives and the like. Then the top port passes both power and data through from the hub to your computer and Reloop supply a short USB-C to USB-C cable for that. They also give you a couple of USB-C to USB-A cables in different lengths which you can use if you aren't making use of the power delivery system. Let's show you how it works. Okay, please excuse the absolute mess of cables we've got here. I think this is probably the only way I can really demonstrate this in a satisfactory way. I've got the stand hub on its side. This is the bottom of the stand hub. That's the top of the stand hub. And I have my XMG laptop here. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is show you how to use it with power delivery. Now, USB-C power delivery, that's very common. All the new Mac laptops have it. And a lot of devices like this XMG, this has got a USB-C power delivery port, but it's on the right-hand side. So it doesn't quite work with the supplied little short cables that Reloop supply, but it does work with a longer one, which I'll show you now. So this cable coming in is from my MacBook Pro power adapter. It's a 100 watt unit. This device does only support 60 watts for power delivery, but that is enough to charge that 16 inch MacBook Pro, just perhaps a little bit more slowly than if it was putting the full 100 watts through. But your average power delivery USB-C powered device will only have a 60 watt one anyway. So that's pretty standard. Most of the USB hubs and stuff you find now are 60 watts power delivery. So yeah, no problem with that at all. So I'm gonna plug in this one. This is coming from that MacBook Pro power adapter into the power port and that is now powering this hub. So we've got the blue light has come on and if I plug in my phase over here to one of the four USB three ports, then we can see the phase is powered and it is charging the remotes in the phase. And so we have power coming into this. Now I can also add in, I'm gonna plug in the SL box as well. Obviously that's a bit outdated, but you know, I've struggled to fit a mixer on here as well. So we've got the SL box now, everything's running in there. 
I need to get some output from this to my computer. So as I say, the power delivery port being on the right hand side here on the XMG is a bit of a challenge in terms of the cable length. You know, this is the length of cable that Reloop supplied for that. It's not gonna do it for me. So I have another Apple USB-C to USB-C cable, which is just, that came from an iPad, I think. So I'm gonna plug that in over here. So it's gone into the output on the top. And it's going into the laptop through that power delivery now. I am now plugged in and my battery is charging. So the battery's charging up there now. We can see we have power connected. It is plugged in and also the SL box is connected to Serato DJ Pro there. And if I drop down, I can go to the wireless mode as well and use phase with it. So these are all being fed through. There's lots of power going through the system. There's no shortage of power here. So if you are lacking, let's say you have a new MacBook Air or the 13 inch MacBook Pro or something, they don't have a lot of ports on there. So you are gonna be short of ports to use. Now you've got four regular USB 3 ports, loads of power going into them. You're not, no worries about you know not being enough power, etc. And we can just use those and play whatever we want. You can charge your phone off here as well at the same time. You know, you, you've got a, basically a proper USB-C hub, like the kind you see on Amazon all the time. You know, there's plenty of them out there. there. Lots of them are very expensive as well. So this is, considering the fact you've got it all built into the stand, I just think that's very, very ingenious. Now, that is charging the laptop here with this power delivery port. But of course, if we don't have USB-C power delivery on our laptop, let's say it's an older laptop or something like that, or you just don't want to use that, you want to use a standard power adapter at the same time, then you don't need to do that. I can pull out the, disconnect this from the laptop first of all. And I've got on this cable, so let's get rid of my MacBook Pro power adapter. We're not doing power delivery anymore, so that one's going. So this one is just a regular USB power adapter, the kind you'd use to charge a phone or an iPad. I've got it going out to a USB-C. So I'm going from USB-A to USB-C. I'm gonna plug that into the stand hub. Again, you can see the light is illuminated. We are now powering this. This is a powered USB hub at this point. It is an active USB hub. It's not passive. You're not gonna have power issues, but of course we still need to connect it to the computer. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna use the USB-C um, to USB-C. Now you could, in this case, I could use, if I had this on the stand, there are USB ports on the left, so I could just perfectly happily use one of the regular reloop cables, USB-C to USB-A, plug that in, but it won't reach where it is sat here on the desk. So I'm just gonna use this USB-C one again, and I'm taking this output from the stand hub into the laptop. And what you'll see is that the SL box and phase will reconnect, but the difference here is I am not now powering the laptop. This is running off battery at this point. So yeah, there's no charging going on because we don't have enough juice there. It's not a power delivery device at this point. This is now a powered USB hub. So I would have to power the laptop in a different way with the regular power adapter, or I could feed into a USB port and use a power adapter on the USB-C. There are lots of options, but just to point out, yeah, you don't need the USB power delivery. Everything here is working great. You can see the phase is charging, it's working. I've got the um, SL box is connected and working. So everything's fine, but it doesn't now have the power delivery because I'm just using a regular USB power brick. That is not enough to provide the power delivery. So there you go, my take on the stand hub from Reloop. As you've probably gathered by now, I really like this product. I think it's great. You've got a good quality stand and a really nice USB-C power delivery hub in one convenient package. It's not the cheapest laptop stand in the world, naturally, but if you take a look at the price of some laptop stands, just regular ones, they're often north of $100 to begin with. Add on the price of a USB-C power delivery hub like this, and you are gonna be talking very close to the price of the stand hub, but you've got that convenience there. It's all in the one package. You're never gonna forget your USB hub because it's just part of your laptop stand. I think it's a very ingenious idea, really well executed. For me, this is an absolute winner from Reloop. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.